Oh, hey, what's up? Welcome to the Fine Bourbon Lunch Show. I'm your host, America's sweetheart, Eric Ryan. And we have been humanizing corporate America through the magic and power of brown booze and stupid questions all the way back to last week. It's Wednesday, March 23rd. And on this day in history, uh, American attorney and politician Patrick Henry dropped his give me liberty or give me death speech uh, in 1775. Titanic won 11 Academy Awards in 1998 somehow. And what a time to be alive. It's National Chip and Dip Day. Fred Campos is the owner of DFW Website Designers. Uh, Fred Campos likes his movies with Hugh Grant in them. Fred Campos has a hard time naming five professional sports teams. How do I know this? Because Fred and I drank Sazerac Rye and talked about movies and sports. On today's episode, which is question three slash brown booze three of the Five Bourbon Lunch Show. Um, enjoy the show. I know I will. I'm in it. Now, hit my music. <laughs> you grab movies. All right, movies. Cheers. Cheers. Just so you know, I cheated a little bit on this one. It's called a five bourbon lunch show, but this is a rye. Okay, what does that mean? Uh, so bourbon, I mean, there's a lot of rules, but at its base, it needs to be 51% corn to be called a bourbon. A rye okay. is 51% rye. So corn is not the, the uh, predominant grain in this. The tasting notes on this one, and just so you know, ryes tend to be a little bit more aggressive. Aromas of clove, vanilla, anise and pepper, subtle notes of candied spices and citrus. The big finish has hints of licorice. You know what it does? A little bit yeah. of the black dark licorice. I would agree with that. So this is also from the Buffalo Trace Distillery, which is the best distillery, I think. So it's originally from New Orleans. Um, this is Sazerac. Wow. Yeah, so the first American cocktail uh, is the Sazerac. So it's Sazerac rye, absinthe, and bitters. Okay, so the question that goes along with this one, your top five movies. Number one, Rogue One. That's so, right, man. All the Star Wars. I'm not like I'm not a Star Wars guy, but this seems like a dark horse pick. Given the it is a dark horse pick. Nobody picks this as the number one. Okay, no. it's not originally in the canon. It's telling the story of how they got the, the the plans, right? And basically, in case you haven't seen it, you know, spoiler alert: no. everybody in the freaking show dies. Everybody does. <laughs> okay. And my family gives me a hard time about this, but I think it is so cool that they're all dying for this mission that they don't get to see fulfilled. Um, it's really cool. And if you haven't seen it, it's probably the most badass Darth Vader scene you've ever seen, man. I mean, he is pissed at the very end, which is great. You don't see that so much throughout the rest of the series. So were you a, were you a Star Wars fan always? And then this one comes comes out and you're like, holy shit, this is my new favorite. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It just didn't speak to me. To me, Luke Skywalker looks like a member of the Partridge family. Like his hair. <laughs> <laughs> right. Number, number two. <laughs> this is another one. Uh, kind of a head scratcher. So Harry Potter 7, part two. Right. Again, it's still got the same theme as as the Rogue One, except our, our main character, while well, he dies, <laughs> but he still lives. Um, you know, the ultimate... Badass fight scene against Voldemort. The ending of these seven movies, yeah. kind of to tie it all together. Um, your hero wins, but you weren't really sure, you know, how it's going to turn out. Uh, seven point one was nothing but a build up. Seven point two was just, you know, it was all cool stuff from from there to the end. So you got to love Harry Potter, and uh, Rowling did a good job in tying all the loose ends together and just wrapping it up. And you just, I just loved it. <laughs> All right. Your third movie. Once again, you just uh, you you throw some off speed pitches. Sense and sensibility. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. There's only about five or six movies that I cry in, and I'm a big Hugh Hugh Grant fan. But and I didn't read the book, so I did not know. And then when they get to the very final scene, where you know where she just connects with you, he didn't, he didn't do it. It was just so good. I don't know. It's one of the few movies I cried in. So heck, you know what? I'm gonna go from extremes here because I'm gonna cover all bases. It's a yeah. chick flick. I get it, but you know what? It's one of my all time favorites. So it's, a, it's a chick flick, but it's a Jane Austen period piece. Yeah, so, you know, there's authenticity there. It's not forced. Your fourth movie I watched recently, so Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. So obviously with Weird Al, you got to have some comedy. This was the, you know, 
probably the best use of the F word I've ever seen in my life, but definitely one of the funniest movies I've ever seen about basically a, a guy having a really bad time getting home. And, you know, you get uh, Steve Martin, who's one of my favorite comedians with John Candy and it just everything goes wrong. It, it just that movie. I laugh probably more than any other movie uh, ever created. So, you know, you got well rounded. You know, you got your drama. You got your everybody dies movie. You got your hero win at the end with Harry Potter. This is my laugh all movie. I watched it recently. It's really uh, so it's Steve Martin getting annoyed at John Candy for two hours, but it's great. Right? Yeah. I mean, like, they take that to high art <laughs> in your fifth one because you're a huge Hugh Grant guy. <laughs> yeah, obviously. <laughs> Four weddings and a funeral. So it, it's kind of a it's kind of a clash between Sense and Sensibility and my Plain Strange and Automobiles. Right. Um, other than the funeral part being a little bit serious uh, and being a Hugh Grant fan and like Sense and Sensibility. So it, it, it's just another it's just a feel good movie. I know it's still a chick flick, but still it's good. Um, and it's also interesting because it's based around uh, events, you know, kind of like, um, you know, it's, it's just not that's not the typical style of how a movie goes. You know, I don't know many things that are based around events, but I loved it. I loved it. In the movie that you hate the most. Oh, my gosh. OK, so I am not a sports fan. So forgive me. You know, I'm a typical geek. I could, when I was dating my wife, I couldn't name five sports teams. I lost a $20 bet on that. So here's a movie that's all about baseball called Field of Dreams. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. If you build it, they will come. I'm just like, Ugh. so I don't get it, first off. And I'm not excited about it. And that's, you know, I could fall asleep in that movie in about 10, yeah. 10 minutes. So forgive me for all those sports people out there. Um, just not a fan at all. I don't love it or hate it if I'm in the middle about it. But someone else who I've done this with. Uh, the movies they hate the most is anything with Kevin Costner. So for some reason, <laughs> I don't know this guy did. Everybody hates Kevin. I didn't know. Can you name five sports teams now? Uh, probably, but please don't make me do it in public. Ready five? <laughs> this is how uh, you're yeah, I don't care. Okay. Dallas Cowboys because live in Texas. Uh, Texas Rangers because live in yep. Texas. Um, Dallas Stars because I live in Texas. Gosh, who's, who's in the Super Bowl? Um, L.A. Rams? Is that a, is that a team? Yeah, one more. You gonna do one more? Um, 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 there's socks, 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 socks. Uh, Red Sox. Red Sox. Yeah. I love the Red Sox. Yeah, yeah. Team. yeah. I love the Red Sox. <clears throat> and you'll love daily video content produced and distributed by Offensively Creative, who happens to be, and I don't know if I've mentioned this before, oh, a certified HubSpot Platinum Partner. Here's our trophy. OffensivelyCreative.com. Do the right thing. Uh, tune in tomorrow when Fred and I drink something else and talk about something else. It's going to be great. See you then. Bye, Mom.